So sometimes our switches cannot start up. So when we face those problems, how to troubleshoot? First, a device must start up before any operation is performed on it. So startup failures affect the entire network. Therefore, network engineers must know how to troubleshoot the startup failures. Okay, now first, startup information. When, when the switch is starting up, there are because there are two types of switches, uh, fixed switches and modular switch. For the fixed switches, the startup information are like this. When we use our cancel cable connect to the cancel port, these are the information that the, when we start up the device, the device will show us. Uh, first, it will have several stages. This stage is boot ROM stage. It's boot ROM stage. And here, it will show us the boot ROM version information. And we can press Control plus B to enter the boot ROM menu. So we have two seconds to enter the boot ROM menu. Then if the finish the boot ROM stage, we will go to the system file decompression stage. In this stage, the system files will be decompressed. Then the system software in its, in its in initialization stage. Then next will be upper layer software initialization. After the software in its initialization is finished, we will go to configuration recovery stage. So uh, we will start to recover the configuration file. Uh, when we finish this stage, then press enter to get started. We can use commands to configure the device. <clears throat> so the startup information varies according to device models and versions, but the key messages in different stages are the same. When locating startup failures, first we should determine during which stage the system restarts, and then take actions accordingly. So uh, this is the startup information on fixed uh, switches. On the modular switches, the information will be a little different. So first is also the boot ROM stage. Then it's boot load stage. In the boot load, uh, we can see the boot load version and the MTU, MPU model. And the MPU model are the main processing unit. It's like the uh, main control board. Then uh, it's the system file decompression stage. And from here, we can see it starts the switch using the system file in the CF card. And the current startup file is this. The version is V2R1. When the, when the uh, uncompressing down, we will go to the system initialization stage. Then go to upper layer software in its initialization stage. Finally, it's con configuration recovery stage. Then uh, we'll press enter to get started. So here we have known some stages. So basically, uh, there are three sta stages. First is the boot ROM stage. In the boot ROM stage, 
the bootstrap is running. So in this stage, we can press Ctrl plus B to enter the bootstrap. Then it's the system file. The system file. So the system will run the system file. Read from the CF card or flash. Then after the system file is running, it will recover the configuration. When we finish the configuration recovery, we, we, we can get started. Okay, next. Uh, when we troubleshoot, first we should, we should see it's the software problem or physical problem. Here, uh, we should check the power indicators of the fixed switches. So first, check if it's the power supply problem. If it's power supply problem, we should replace the power supply. So this status, if it's off, uh, means the power input is abnormal. For example, no AC input or AC input over voltage or under voltage. Then if it's green and the steady on means that AC input power is normal. If it's blinking means the AC power output is abnormal. For example, the over voltage, over current or short circuit. This is a power supply. Then we should check uh, this is different types, they may have different indicators. So for this switch, in the front panel, here we have two indicators to indicate the status of the power. Then the system indicator of the box switch. If the system indicator is off, it means this system is not running. And if it's screen and steady on, it means it's operating properly. If it's slow bl blinking, uh, means it's, it's operating system. But in different versions, the meaning may be different. Uh, in VR16 and earlier versions is like this, but in V2R1 and later versions, if it's fucking fast blinking, this, it means the system is starting. If it's slow blocking, blinking, it means the system is operating properly. If this indicator is yellow and steady on, means the system is performing self-check during the startup. If it's red, means the system doesn't work normally after registration or a fan alarm or temperature alarm has been generated. So we need to find out it's a fan problem or some temperature problem. And the power indicator of the modular switches. So for the modular switches, all the powers uh, are pluggable under uh, at the bottom of the switch and the meaning of these indicators no big difference and on the MPU on the main control board on the main control board we should check the active indicator and the run alarm indicator the active indicator, remember, uh, this is used to indicate this board is active board or standby board. Then on the RPU, it also has run and alarm indicator. So Let's go to some typical troubleshooting methods for startup failures. When a fixed switch restarts before the configuration 
recovery stage. So the fourth symptom, like the a switch restarts repeatedly before the configuration recovery stage. The message recovery configuration is not displayed. So uh, how to rectify the fault? First, during the startup, we should press Control B to access the bootroom menu. Then, in the bootroom menu, in the bootroom menu, as prompted, uh, they upload the system software package to the switch. Specify the package as a startup file and restart the switch. So when this, uh, the switch is repeatedly start up before the configuration recovery stage means the system file is okay. The software is not more, no problem. The problem is the configuration file. So we should enter the boot, boot ROM menu to upload a new configuration file to the switch and uh, to make the switch run the new configuration file. If the fault persists, so we need to up, update the boot ROM. If the fault still persists, uh, you need to contact the Huawei technical support personnel. Okay. If a modular switch restarts before the configuration recovery stage, it's the same like the fixed switch all because of the configuration file failures. So uh, we should enter the boot ROM and upload the configuration file and run the new configuration file. So if a fixed or modular switch restarts in the configuration recovery stage, it's not before, it's in this stage. So uh, we should also enter the boot ROM menu and we should create an empty configuration file with the file name extend dot CFG on a PC and upload the file to the switch using the bootroom menu. And in the bootroom menu, specify the configuration file as a startup file and restart the switch. Okay, if, if after this the file still persists, so we should contact Huawei to solve this problem. And a power module on a module switch fails like uh, the indicator of a power module on a modular switch is abnormal. The power module fails. So uh, when we rectify the fault, we should determine the possible fault based on the indicators, indicator status. If possible, perform a replacement test to locate the fault. If the power module is confirmed to be faulty, so we should contact the Huawei and uh, uh, these are the DC and AC power on the power they will have several indicators and what's the meaning of these indicators now showed here and if a card on a modular switch cannot be powered on uh, like the switch power supply, when the switch power supply is normal but a card fails to be started and the run alarm indicator of the card is steady red. When we rectify the fault, first we should check whether the ejector levers are closed. Avoid the incorrect card installation like this. This card cannot be powered on because this is not securely installed. The indicator is steady red. And remove the faulty card 
to check whether there are bent pins on the high speed connector and back plane like like this the bent pins on the high speed connector these are the bent pins on the black plane if after this uh, the fault still persists we should contact the Huawei support personnel okay when we contact uh, the Huawei support we should collect this information like the, the device model the software version or patch information and so forth the SN number For module switch, we should collect this information. Okay, these are the introduction of startup failure.